and we're looking at some sample bricks to be used um, when needed to reinstall and repair the uh, east wall of this building. And uh, Charlie, the project manager uh, for the Damari Construction Company, has some sample bricks here. Do you want to tell us where they come sure. from? Sure. So what we did was uh, we brought the rep down from Cash Building Supply out of Jacksonville. And uh, he brought a sample, actually took the pictures that you had, that you had taken. I sent those to him uh, uh, prior to him coming out. And he brought a sample uh, of a few different uh, uh, sizes and, and shades uh, of brick. And uh, so this is what we thought would probably be the, the best match. Uh, it's a used brick, um, so it's been in a previous building. Um, could have come from a factory or, or something that they had torn down uh, somewhere else. And uh, these guys have a few pallets of these, uh, these bricks to Are they cheaper? How do they relate cost-wise when you're looking at getting new brick and a new supply? Do you find a new supply of brick that would match? Obviously, finding historic brick is more palatable to preservationists. Right. But what are you looking at? What, what's the cost difference? It's a little bit more expensive, the, the labor. So, as you can imagine, to, to pull a brick out and to clean it, uh, take all the mortar and keep it in the shape that it's in, is a little bit more difficult than uh, the manufacturing a brick. Mm -hmm. uh, so the expense is a little bit more than a, a manufactured brick, but um, you know, I, I think as far as you know, a project like this, it's got uh, uh, this, this old. Uh, this is really the only way to. Only way to go. Go. And, and, and Rick, what do you think about well, what we're looking at? Well, I think it's wonderful that you're reusing um, historic brick. Uh, the building has three color patterns in the building right now. There's the coins are a solid color. Uh, the 1920 feature has a light blend uh, to it and then the body of the building the rest of the building has about a five or six color brick blend which is what uh, the construction company has just brought over here and that's the way I would hope uh, that the building would be put back together the coin, the coins being done in that solid red color and then the, the uh, pattern the blends in the uh, in the rest of the body of the building and then the entry feature from the 20s in its own uh, lighter version of it so these are very subtle changes and you look at the elevation you'll see that color pattern and um, hopefully as you take it down you know you'll have some brick that you can reuse we were talking about the courthouse uh, in West Palm Beach which was a sand based color uh, brick it was a five pattern brick and we had difficulties even though we had a 1927 building that we cannibalized for the 1916 building we still didn't have enough brick and uh, new brick is also very well machine made right and it's unfortunately the same color it's not fire burn like the old brick used to be. So we actually had to use some artisans to help us touch and create the five color blend for the little bit of infill that we had to do. So I think that's gonna be the challenge on the facades, you know, especially the north one and uh, the east one, which is where you're gonna be working. I would imagine you're gonna to try to reuse some of the brick uh, as it comes off the walls, we, right? We will. It looks like uh, what we may be able to do is actually um, take the brick and flip them. Perfect, that's what I was gonna suggest. The interior side of the brick. That yeah. will be wonderful because the exterior of this brick, because of the sandblasting, has been significantly damaged. But you don't need to throw it away. You just need to flip it and reuse it. The same thing when you have nice uh, wood decking on a, on, a, on a structure, right? Right. Sometimes it's a little bit damaged. You just flip it around and you reuse it. You know, hard to find in South Florida is something that uh, Day County find that we like to use a lot, you know, and reuse a lot. You just have to flip it around and another 50 years. That's it. <laughs>